Hey, what's happening, everybody? So it's Saturday here, and today is part two of the shed build. It's going to be a three part video. So if you haven't seen part one, you might want to tune into that, or you can just start here. Doesn't matter to me. So, uh, anyways, today we're going to be talking about framing and the foundation for the shed. And I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of siding in here because we like to keep it exciting here, folks. So, here we go. Alright, so a while back I made a video on how to square a building. And I went into some detail on that. However, I'm not doing that here. So, this here building is less than 60 square feet so i was simply able to just lay my platforms down like this and i was able to just trace an outline of where my building was going to go now um you can see i have angle iron here lined up and the reason i'm doing this if you remember my shed blocks had angle iron uh embedded in them with some anchors because i wanted to be able to screw my shed platform or my shed directly to these and that's what i'm doing here so I just use the angle iron as a guide and you can see here I this is how I line my shed blocks up and I told you in the last video that I was sick of digging so this is as far as I had to dig down folks um, basically I picked the point out of the six here and everything is referenced off of that one point height wise and I used a laser level but you could just use basically a long 2 by 4 or even a piece of metal and you could just level it that way um, with the hand level but anyways, um, after I laid out my blocks, you can see what I did here. I filled in a little bit of dirt. And now you can see this is what I was talking about, about screwing it directly to these blocks. Now, my shed is not going to go anywhere, you see. So, so the only thing that I had to do here was mend the other platform to this platform here. And that's how I got my shed base. Shed here is my laundry shed, the frame so far. And uh, you can see the simplicity of this frame. And these are ripped 2x4s. These are not even full-size 2x4s. I will be putting a lot of lateral bracing on these. Um, and, and, you know, support to make sure that it can withstand the wind and everything. Um, the top will be normal 2x4s. I'll be using uh, hurricane ties. I will be using 29 gauge steel for the siding. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. All right, folks, so just to add a little bit to this, obviously I skipped a bunch on uh, framing the shed and putting it together, but really it's very simple. I just simply stood these up, and you can see here I used uh, extra pieces to brace it into place, and then I use a level on each side to make sure the building's level, and I screw it together. I used two and a half inch construction screws and if you remember the last video i said i basically all i had to do though was drill pilot holes because these are delicate because i ripped two by fours and i just screwed it together it was really that simple it was kind of like an ikea build a little bit so uh that's what i did folks and um yeah so we're gonna go into the next part here and i'm gonna talk a little bit more about the bracing the lateral bracing side of it All right, so you can look at this building here and you can see that the frame is pretty much done and I'm gonna be starting to put the siding on and the roof and all that. But before we do that, you can just take a look here and if you wanna know how I'm able to build a shed with rip two by fours, um, you see those diagonal uh, pieces of wood there that are screwed to the inside? That's what lateral bracing is. And if you put those on each wall, you'd be amazed at how much stronger your building's gonna be. So if you want to do a little research, look up lateral bracing and you can watch a few engineering videos on it, but it works great. Um, and that's, that's how I've been able to keep my shed from uh, moving around in all this wind. So moving right along here, another thing that I did a little bit differently, um, where the soffits are here, the soffits are like underneath where the rafters are. What I did was I stapled some aluminum screen to this because I wanted to be able to have air moving freely through this building because I'm hanging wet laundry in here when I'm not using my dryer. So I made it to where basically air could just move through there no problem and because I don't have any vents or anything in this shed, I wanted to keep it simple. So that's what I did there, folks. Um, so if you need an idea, it works well. Um, and where the shed's facing, the wind blows right directly through there and it's real nice. Um, so what's going to happen next, I skip right ahead here. 
In this video, I didn't really do a lot as far as how to screw these panels to the roof. Um, there's plenty of videos out there. I know I'm skipping a lot, but uh, I'm a one-man show, so I'm um, just kind of giving you a broad idea of how the shed was built. Um, you can see here, um, I start with the roof, and then I go from there, uh, but once the lateral bracing's on the side of the building, you can do that. Everybody, so this is the laundry shed. Just doing an update here. Wanted to show the framing one more time before I close it in. I've got some of the panels up. Uh, I got the roof panels up, and now I'm putting the siding on. And really nothing out of the ordinary. Um, the only thing that's really probably out of the ordinary for this is that I use drip 2x4s for the framing, most of it. Uh, the top, there's a normal 2x4 in front, and then there's a ripped one behind it. Kind of acting as like a header, I guess. Uh, one thing to note is that we don't really get too much snow out here, if if any at all. I'm in a high desert in Arizona, so, um, you know, the load on the roof is really not going to be a problem. There, it's kind of not existing out here. So, you use a single slope roof here, and uh, yeah, so, so far so good. All right, folks, so this is a good spot to leave off for part two. Um, part three, I'll bring it all together. We've actually had this shed up for a month now. Uh, got the washer and dryer in it already, but I uh, just kind of wanted to break things apart, just show you a little bit more of an inside scoop of how how uh, things come together out here. So hopefully this works for somebody. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, make sure you share the video. Thanks for watching.